So far, as we know, the flagship SoC by Qualcomm is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and almost every high-end Android phone of this year has this SoC. Now, in the past couple of years, we have seen that for the second half of the year, Qualcomm launches a plus version of its flagship chipset that brings some performance-centric upgrades over the non-plus version. For example, last year we had Snapdragon 888 in the first half and Snapdragon 888 Plus in the second half. Similarly, this year we have Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in the first half and for the second half we are getting the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Yes, this is expected to be the name of this upcoming chipset instead of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. At least that's what a post by Digital Chat Station reveals. Now along with the name, we also got to know the key specifications of this chipset so we know what are the major upgrades when compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So starting off with the CPU, the basic arrangement of the cores is still the same. This means we still have one Prime Cortex-X2 core, three Cortex-A710 cores and four Cortex-A510 cores. But what is upgraded this time is the clock speed. The Cortex-X2 core has a maximum clock speed of 3.2 GHz this time, which is an upgrade from 3 GHz clock speed in case of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The four Cortex-A710 cores have a maximum clock speed of 2.75 GHz, which is an upgrade from 2.5 GHz. And finally, the maximum clock speed for the four Cortex-A510 cores remains the same. So this means the performance-centric CPU cores are getting increased maximum clock speeds, which means the CPU performance of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is getting a pretty significant boost over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Now in terms of the GPU, there is the Adreno 730, which is the same GPU that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has, but the boost frequency is higher in the new chipset at 900 MHz. And last but not the least, we have the manufacturing process. As we know, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is based on the Samsung's 4 nanometer process, and Samsung's process is said to be worse than the TSMC's process when it comes to power efficiency and thermal throttling. So maybe for the same reason, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is built on the TSMC's 4 nanometer process, just like the Dimensity 9000. Well, with an increase in the clock speeds of the performance-centric CPU cores, it will be interesting to see how well the thermals are handled in this new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC. There are already rumors that MediaTek is also working on a successor of Dimensity 9000, so if that launches in the second half of this year as well, then it would be exciting to see the comparison between that and the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Anyways, that is all about this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.